Coach Kathy coming at you from Hybrid Fitness, and today we are gonna talk about alleviating your lower back pain. I have three easy tips that I'm gonna share with you about how we can do that at home without any equipment. Before we get started, let's make sure you have permission from your doctor before we step into these three easy tips. Let's hop into it. Tip number one happens before you even get out of bed in the morning. So when you're lying in bed, you wanna bring those feet up, soles of the feet on the bed, knees are bent. We're gonna bring one knee into the chest and we're gonna hold it for three to five seconds or even longer, up to 15 seconds, it's up to you. We're just gonna relax and hold that knee. Then we're gonna release that one. We're gonna bring the other one forward. Again, we're just gonna relax. Just three to five seconds or as long as you would like. Put that knee down. Then we're gonna bring both knees to the chest and do that same thing. You can even wiggle around a little bit. This is to let your back know that you're waking up, that you're gonna stand and move and have a great day without any back pain. So then you let go. You can do that five times. You can do that 15 times. It's up to you. So one leg at a time and then both legs and then relax. Then you're ready to get up and have a fantastic day. Tip number two is to strengthen. We're not only gonna strengthen our lower back, we're gonna strengthen those abs too because our abs support our spine. They do half the work. One of the things that we need to do is to stay mobile. So that could be simply walking, that could be biking, that could be swimming, anything that gets your body moving. So what happens is, is your circulatory system pumps that blood. We want our blood pumping, we want our lymph system going. It's gonna deliver nutrients and oxygen to all of our joints and get rid of the waste that we don't need. So we definitely wanna keep more mobile. Some specific exercises that you can do that can help strengthen that lower back and those abs are done on the floor. So we're gonna do some pelvic tilts. You're gonna tilt that pelvis. You wanna push that lower back right down to the mat. You're gonna squeeze those glutes and pull that navel all the way down to the mat. That's really important. And then release. And you can do that as many times as you would like. Another one that we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure our feet are firmly planted, hip width apart, and we're gonna lift. Lift those glutes off the ground. We're squeezing the glutes, okay? It's a very smooth motion. It's very controlled, okay? So we're just gonna tuck, curl, and lift and squeeze. Okay, so there's another one that you can try. To help strengthen our belly, one simple one that we can do is just a partial crunch. Hands are behind the head, or you can have them down by your sides if that's easier for you. We're just gonna come up to lift the head, the neck, and the shoulder blades off of the mat. You don't have to come all the way up to your knees. Just a little tiny crunch. You can do as many as you would like. Elbows are back. Unless your hands are down and that's totally fine. You can reach for those knees if that's easier. Okay, we are strengthening that belly. We're keeping that lower back on the mat. Okay, we're pulling the navel right down to the mat. So that helps our lower belly. So then we have a few more. If lying on your back does not work for you, we can flip it over. We can do some cat cows. We're gonna be on all fours. Your wrists are underneath your shoulders. Your knees are under your hips. We're gonna look up, arching the back. And then we're gonna scrunch the back up and look down. Okay. Little cat cow. Another one that we can do is called bird dog. Same position. And we are gonna reach out with our fingertips and reach out with our heel in the back. So you wanna make sure your heel is pushing toward the back wall. Okay, and then you switch. Okay, you're gonna tuck that belly in the whole time. Okay, belly stays nice and flat. You're just gonna hold it out for a few seconds. Okay, and we'll just finish this up. And then there are some prone positions that you can do that will strengthen your lower back as well. So we're gonna lie down on our belly on our mat. So these are called Superman, Supergirl, Cactus. They have all kinds of names. So you can put your arms out straight. Your gaze will be near the top of your mat if you're on a mat, okay? We're gonna lift our upper body and lower body by squeezing our glutes, okay? So you can have your hands out like this. You can have your hands behind you. This is called Supergirl or down by your sides. You can also have them out to your sides if that's easier. The other option is instead of lifting and holding, you can come down and up. So just lift and lower, okay? And just do a few of these. Be 
very careful. You want to think about lengthening your body more than lifting your body, okay? Because when you lift your body, you are, you are kind of crunching your back together. All those little vertebrae are being sort of crunched together. So we want to make sure that we're, we're focusing on lengthening our body while we are tightening that lower back, okay? Tip number three, we're going to talk about posture. So posture is very, very important and it's really easy and really simple to handle. You can do it in every activity that we do all day long. So whether you are sitting, standing, or lying down, we want to make sure our head is in line with our spine. Okay, we don't want the head back. We don't want the head forward. We want our head in line with our spine. We want our chin parallel to the floor with just a slight arch in our back. If you're sitting, you can support this with a towel or a small pillow. The other thing you'd like to do is to pull those shoulder blades together in the back. That brings your shoulders back and squares them. You want your shoulders down away from your ears. And again, this is for sitting, standing, or lying down. So those are our three tips to help you with that lower back pain. The first one was before you even get out of bed. The second one was strengthening those abs as well as your lower back. And the third one was handling your posture in all of your everyday daily activities. So if you liked this video and if you found it helpful, please subscribe, hit that button down below. I also have another video that talks about posture and you can watch that one right here. Until next time, small steps and big results.